Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Ash Yogi TV. My name is Ash. I'll be your host. I'm here today with Judy Fraser, spiritual psychotherapist. Uh, Judy Fraser is also an author of uh, three books, uh, uh, Second Aid, a self-help manual, and uh, The Soul Searcher, Scenes from My Life, the companion book to Second Aid, and The Anonymous Mystic, a guide to meditational practice. Judy, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. So I think today we kind of agree we're talking about communication. Seems very topical at the moment with everything changing. Oh, with everything changing. That, that is such a painful thing for me right now. <laughs> or oh, it has been. Um, but communication on two levels. Um, communication certainly for me has been around relationships, romantic relationships and work uh and i found communication has been very very difficult i found myself holding back uh i found communication in romantic relationships have been quite negative a lot of negativity building up and not being able to communicate people getting misunderstanding each other uh it's been a bit of a mess really <laughs> Well, communication is communion. So the first person you have to commune with is you. And if you're changing and everything around you is changing, then you have to really take time to go within and find out what your truth is now. Because you, the old boundaries just aren't working, basically. So we have to establish new ones. But we can't tell anyone else what they are until we found out what they are within ourselves. Conflict will arise because people love sameness. It's so easy to do the same thing time and time again. It's so difficult to do something else or say, no, that's not okay anymore. So we have to really work within ourselves and then test the water with people we know who may then disappear or they may come further into the forefront of our lives. You can't avoid it. It's a happening event. Yes. Yeah, so changes, change is happening. Think, uh, what we want, what we think we need and everything is changing. A lot of the time we don't know ourselves what it is. So we have to, we have to figure we have to communicate with ourselves first and know what that is in order to be able to communicate to someone else. In yeah. truth and in trust. In truth and in trust. Yeah. And knowing full well that a lot of us, most of us like to stay the same anyway, we don't want to change. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So if, if we come, if we communicate as if we were attacking or defending, then we've miscommunicated. Communicated. Right. And you'll see that happening because people's body language goes sideways or they cover their mouths or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, in, in the end, this particular relationship turned into some sort of competition, completely turned into one-upmanship each time on each other. And it was, it, it, that wasn't the original communication. We both were wanting love. We both were seeking the same thing, but somehow managed to blow it up. Um, that, that's because you get into a tackle defense. Right. Yeah. So you don't compliment anymore. You compete. Yeah. 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 Um, another thing at work, at work, what I found myself doing is uh, instead of communicating, holding back, holding back, holding back. And until it just blew up in my face, really. Like, well, that's a miscommunication for a start. Yeah. Because it, it, if you withhold your truth in the interests of peace or whatever you think you want, it won't work. Mm. Because you'll just explode. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll feel misunderstood and miserable. Right. Yeah. We have to be vulnerable if we're going to be good communicators. 
Okay, vulnerability, right, yeah, okay, yeah. And we have an expectation that other people are going to condemn us or challenge us or do something we don't want them to do. Hmm. So we yeah. our wounds and go away, but the wounds get bigger. Right, yeah. So we're, we're looking at communication also involves not just knowing what we want, but also being prepared to be vulnerable. Absolutely. And being oh, and and that's also vulnerable to their reaction as well, or to, or to their judgments or, or their reaction or, or their viewpoint, which could or be remembering we've got a choice. We don't have to stay there. Right. We, we can walk away. Yeah. We want them to be free, and we want to be free ourselves, and that involves being very open. Very open. Yeah. So that brings the into the mix authenticity as well, right? Oh yes, absolutely. Mm. We, we can't go anywhere unless we're authentic, and that it comes back to telling our truth. Yes, yes. Because our truth now is not the track same as it our truth used to be, and to trust another person with our truth puts us in a vulnerable space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what if we're dealing with something difficult? What if emotions are starting to take over? We're getting a little bit triggered and, and it's building. But we, st we still want to hang in there. How do we do that? I think a flat statement of our truth and then to ask them what their truth is. Because we assume we know and we don't. Hmm. We assume we're going to be challenged or disregarded or hurt or whatever it is. Well, that's probably historical. Right. And we need to take that to a higher level. Sure, to a higher level. Yeah. Yeah, because our emotions, if you have a parallel, our emotions are the, are the bottom step. And truth, as, as it is to us now, is at a more elevated spiritual space. Right. So we have to close the gap. Yeah, yeah I mean, I found a lot of resistance to, this, to the new level I, in, within myself, like wanting to hold on to what was and... Um, that's, why, that's why we have to go inside ourselves first yeah. and say, is it working or is it a dead duck? Yeah. Yeah. And if it's not working for us, it won't be working for them either. Mm. Yeah. So we need to update and upgrade. Update and upgrade. I like that. I don't think I don't think I completely know how to do that, but we fumble along <laughs> <laughs> until we get to a standard that satisfies us, if not them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's natural. I mean, you know, we come to the end of the cycle. And some people who have grown at the same rate we have will stick with us. And others who haven't will just fall away and join different groups. That's not right or wrong. It's just the way it is. Yeah, I, th I think I've struggled with that. I've struggled with, um, I've struggled with letting go. Yeah, in some way, I kind of think that's a, some sort of failure rather than looking at it as an end of a cycle. And making space for the new and, and and so for me it's a question of, yeah i have to rewire that i have to uh reframe that well yes because you're swimming against the tide mm. right? and actually the tide is bigger than you are the tide is bigger than i am <laughs> I, I think i'm gonna write that on my wall <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and and that's the other 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 thing. It's it's in this era of self development and go go after your goals and do it and and get it and achieve it. It's I found it so easy to just forget that there's a higher power and or there's another force at play or a greater intelligence at play whatever way you want to look at it rather than just me and my goals because i've achieved a few of them and and therefore now i think i'm completely in control of my life and <laughs> you wish yeah exactly and then when something comes and hits me in the face it's complete meltdown oh how could this happen da, 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 da. First of all, our goals won't be met unless they're in the interests of everyone. They'll go into that awful in-between stage, and we can see it worldwide at the moment, um, where people don't agree and they challenge and they tell other people how they should behave. It'll never work. We can only work on ourselves. I mean, there's that wonderful saying, isn't there? Work on yourself and heal the world. Right. And it's very true. So we, yeah, we can establish what we think we want, but unless it fits in with the, the greater policy, we'll, we'll be flailing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fitting in. Fitting, fitting in with a greater policy. Yeah, that's something, that's something uh, to look at um, for sure. I've certainly encountered people who are, especially if they've just started the spiritual path, they're going after their goals, they've had a little bit of success, and now they think their way is the way. To be fair, that's ambition. Right. And what are we being ambitious about? Yeah. I mean, you see that an awful lot with people who just start a spiritual path. They're on a crusade to save the world. Right. Well, one, the world may not want to be saved. <laughs> and, <laughs> and two, their opinion may need modifying. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, and that takes time and takes life lessons, right? Absolutely. And trust and acceptance. Mm. Acceptance. Oh, man. Upset. Acceptance. Yeah, that's a big one. Well, to be fair, <laughs> you don't actually have much alternative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even, even though I might think I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I might think I do in the moment. Yeah. I'm sure Mr. Trump would agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, d w anything else we have to uh, uh, share um, in terms of communication? I think at that's this point, a moment, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's good. Um, so, basically, the idea um, is to, if people are interested, they can come back to us. And depending on numbers, we'll get uh, a Q and A going. Um, uh, if any of what we've spoken about today has inspired you in any way or brought up uh, more questions, we're happy to run a session uh, of Q and A where you'll be invited to join uh, a group meeting and you'll get to have a chat with Judy and have your questions answered. So uh, please do uh, write in contact me uh, via email, uh, which will be posted down below this video, or contact Judy directly, and we'll organize that as soon as possible. Judy, thank you very much. You're very welcome, Ash. Bye -bye. I think we might mention that there will be a charge for the Q&A. Ah, yes, okay, yeah, apologies for that. There will be a charge for the Q&A. Um, but uh, I'm sure you'll get a lot of value from it. Uh, until the next time, bye-bye.